to the Fix This Build That Sunday Night Live show. And I'm Brad. And I'm Susan. And this is Susan. And happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out here. We had a wonderful day. We did have happy a wonderful day. day. Thank Again, you. To Thank you. you, sir. We did uh, breakfast in bed. Breakfast was had I mean, in bed. I, I made did. I her breakfast in bed. It was like double breakfast. It was a lot of food. It was a lot of breakfast. It was a lot of breakfast. Like, I didn't and eat We didn't else. even do the bacon. We were going to do the I bacon. I know. Yeah. That would have been so. just too much. <laughs> it was great. Yeah, it was great. I got to sleep in, which what mom doesn't like that. I know. So uh, to all you moms out there, and uh, my mom actually just left. Yeah. We were uh, doing Socially a Socially distancing in the backyard. Social distancing in the backyard yep. with uh, my which family and my sister. Yeah. Uh, and her family. And it was, it was great. So uh, I hope everybody else had a wonderful uh, Mother's Day out there, and mm -hmm. uh, again to all you mothers out there, big thumbs up. You guys make make the world go round. That's right, we do. That's right, you do. Uh, <laughs> all right, let's see who we have here over on the gram. Uh, Woodshop storage plants, Tradesman Garage, awesome man. Thank you so much for your support. All right. on that. Uh, Andre from Brazil, Nick K, what's up, Nick? You need to be joining over on YouTube, bro. Got to be joining on YouTube, man. Gotta That's where it. the party's at. Uh, any tips on installing Euro hinges, Barrio, uh, boom. All right, we'll hit, hit that Barrio. Head over to YouTube and ask that question there and we will answer it. Um, all right, uh, Honey Pie. What, who do we have over? Honey yeah. Pie. Oh, Nick, he's already over there. There he is, yo, yo, yo. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I know, I'm like, He was no, ahead no. of us, he was two steps ahead. Um, <clears throat> who do we got over on the, the gram? Taylor is the here, of course. Taylor is, is what is up, Taylor? first out the gate. With the comments. Yep. Um, Big Willie's Garage is here. He said we like IG more, but he was just kidding. Yeah, so we don't like it's IG a little more. joke. We, we, we still have much love for Instagram. We if do. If you're on Instagram, totally. please come join us. We are on YouTube. We're only going to be live on Instagram for just a few more minutes. Uh, join us on YouTube, where we are streaming live in 1080p. 1080p. All the P's. Whoa, I almost bought a bunch here. <laughs> she did right before we went live. <laughs> this chair shot out from underneath her. Because I'm sitting the on the cabinet. pillow, so it's kind of hard to get situated. But, but please come join that. us uh, on YouTube. Fixthisbuildthat.com forward slash live is one easy way to get there. Or go to the main channel. It is a second channel, so it's not on my main channel. It's on a channel called Fix This Build That Live. Who knew? Mm -hmm. uh, because we're going to be signing off there soon. Uh, because I just realized what I did not do. Uh, with Mother's Day and all, I, I didn't grab the list of uh, the new patrons. Do want to go um, And I didn't grab the list yeah. of the questions. Oh. And so I went to grab from my phone, and I went, oh, there's my phone right there. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. <laughs> it is yeah. a problem. But we, yeah. can, we can solve that because as soon as we... Uh, oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Solutions. Mm -hmm. Solutions will be had. Did everybody yeah. have a great day today celebrating the mothers in your lives? All the mothers. All the mothers and all the people. I mean, it can be kind of a sad day too, though, you know? So for like anybody that COVID is- and yeah. Well, and just in motherhood in oh, general, yeah, like yeah, if you're yeah. yearning to be a mother or a father or- Why, if, gotta, why gotta bring this I'm down? just saying, I want <laughs> to be conscious up. of that. Anyone that- I got you. I got anyone you. that might've been going through a hard time in that way. And then, you know, our, That's very true. we're very with true. you on that. And we, we are we with just, you. We are with you. Yeah. For, and for those who have lost folks, I know we... It can be an emotionally yeah. fraught day. Big shout out to uh, our editor, Scott. They're uh, yes. having some, some family things going on. Yep. Uh, so actually the... We're thinking about him today. The uh, Yeah. I'm actually going to be editing this week's video yep. uh, because uh, Scott and his family are going through some things. So Scott, our thoughts and prayers are with you, brother. Absolutely. Hope you guys are, are doing well. Yes. Absolutely. So that being said, we are... So this week, what we're doing, uh, and a little bit late on the video, and not because of uh, all because of that. that we would have no. been late anyway. Just us. That's just <laughs> this is all on me. This has right. nothing to do with that. Um, I've been working the desk. So we've been doing a modern desk. Mm -hmm. It's sitting right behind it's right you guys. There. It's completely Beautiful. finished. So pretty. You can't believe how amazing it is. <laughs> it's fabulous. No, but it really is pretty. But here is the front from it. And I'll, I'll give a little close up mm -hmm. for the IG folks just so they can see it. And then we'll go because I know it doesn't really focus well. This is the drawer front. And I've got different colors on there. So never mind that. This is, was like a gold epoxy, a black epoxy and a silver epoxy. Um, and I don't know how that comes through on the, with the zoom. Um, but the front mm, of know. the desk has this cool design on it where I CNC'd it and then inlaid some epoxy and it turned out really nice. Uh, so I'm really excited to get that video out and um, let you guys see it. Let me go back to the comments over here on IG, see what we got, Shutter Clutter, what is up? Uh, Nick, he did move over, yeah, yeah, baby. Uh, let's see who else we have. Everybody's happy Mother's Day. Petite Mason Living. We got Caramel from uh, Chile. 
Wally's Wood Sign says, oh. um, says Chile again. Chile. Yeah, a lot of South American have, people. I know. They, yeah. They Do they it. have Mother's Day today? I wonder. That's a great question. I don't know. I, don't know. I know it, it is in, in England. Is I this... think in Great Britain it is. Yeah. Because I saw something online, but I don't know about other countries. And Ripped Australia, grain. I'm pretty sure, is too. Ripped grain. Glad you like the um, yeah. the table saw sled. That's fantastic. That's great. Uh, yeah. We got Brazil. We got Argentina. Yeah, Brazil, I'm telling you. We got like Argentina. all of South America in yeah. the house. Well, not Let's... all of South America, but. Yes, everybody. Oh, what? Really? Was that everybody? No. I wasn't kidding. listening to all the countries. I, I said like three countries. Okay. How many countries are in South America? More than three. I think like 11, 13, 20. I don't know. There's a lot. This is like Ecuador, a pop. I did I not know. know there was going to be a quiz. Boli- Bolivia? Oh my gosh. Yes, Bolivia. Okay. Bolivia's- Colombia? Yes. Brazil? Yes. Argentina? Uh-huh. Chile? Chile? Uh-huh. Uh, I almost said Portugal. No. But Pan- no. <laughs> is Panama? Panama is Panama a country No, that's in the canal, baby. That's like in the thinnest part. Is that That's Central but America. That's, baby, it's North America and South America. There is no Central. That's like not a continent. But which, was, is it associated with the North or the South? <laughs> they couldn't they North go America, either way? Can't North they just America. pick? <laughs> North know. America stops with Mexico. Oh, well then shoot, there's a lot of countries. That's what I'm saying. There's like Ecuador goes, you know, Canada, and Canada, Mex- Canada, United Venezuela. States, Mexico, Greenland, Iceland. Oh, well. That's basically wow. all of North America. This is not where I thought the group was. Let's wow. move on. All right, let's move on. Okay. Um, We're going to get a lot of people jumping in, <laughs> correcting me. If we... <laughs> What? I hope we have not offended all no, of uh, so sorry. South or Central America. I was thinking America. of like the it's okay. It's big okay. body mass, uh, uh, sorry, what is of it? South not, America. Uh, not Bolivia. There's one that's like a really beautiful place. Uh, Aren't something they all beautiful? With a B. They are. Something with a B. Um, and then there's the whole, there's the B. whole. Co- yeah. Uh, Belize? Belize. Yes. Belize. It does Belize. sound really pretty. Belize. Wow. Moving okay. on. Matty Ice, what's up? Eric Freeheim. We are on YouTube. Uh, Mac. Come check us on YouTube. So for all the Instagram folks, head over to YouTube, fix this bill. Come on over. Com, yep. Forward slash live. We'll shoot you straight in. Uh, and you can you can check us out there. We got Halifax, Canada. Uh, will the epoxy be LED lit? Uh, oops, I craft myself. What? <laughs> oops, I craft myself. I oh, like gosh. Uh, no, it will not. It will not be LED lit. Austin Jaffe, what is up? We got Argentina in the house. Uh, Aldo from Mexico. What's up, Aldo? Paraguay, Uruguay, Paraguay. I love this. Panama, it's a country. Thank you, Mac. I, I thought it was. Jose, what is up, my man? Triple <laughs> J in the house. <laughs> it should oh, be a slogan. Though. Panama. <laughs> it's a, it's country. a country. It is a I knew it was a country. You knew it was a country, right? I, well, I said it, and then you were like... You were well, like, I thought it was... I, that's when I got yeah. confused with the whole Central good. America all thing. Good. I knew it was a country, for the record. So anyway, welcome to right. all of our people. Gotcha. From all of... Yeah. Americas. All the Americas and and all the world. The whole world. Uh, Yeah. We we have very few people over in, we don't get many European folks because it's like 2 a.m. right now. That makes sense. Unless they're night owls or something. It's not 2 a.m. They can't sleep. uh, What is it? I don't know. I'm not good at that. Eight hours ahead. So it's 5 a.m. there. 5 a.m. there. Uh, Dang, that's early. I know it is. Monday morning. Uh, Let's see here. What do we got here? Using the CNC for that. Trades and garage. Yes, I am. Jack McDevitt. What is up? Did the CNC, yep. Rick. you seem more hyped up than normal. Let's I told him that we just had s'mores, so that might be why. Yeah. We had yeah. like we Dale had Dale Gallon. Uh, welcome. Hey Dale. Yeah, we had a campfire in the backyard because it was we a little did. chilly out there. Then it was also a little windy, so there was smoke that was kind smoke. of joining us. But that's all right. Smoking it. And then we had s'mores. It was great. It was fantastic. Felt like we were camping. Came here from IG. Jeremy Vargas. Awesome, awesome. We got all a right. bunch of folks coming over from IG. I love it. Michael. Um, oh. If you're not coming over yet, Instagram, go ahead and head over, man. Go to, go to YouTube. All right. That's where we're at. Michael Grover wants to know alternative plywood to Baltic birch. Two-hour drive to the nearest hardwood dealer that sells it. That stinks, Michael. That does. Um, Two hours. You know, that's a great question because I get that a lot. That's great. Is, is what's an alternative? Actually, hold on. What? Don't. We can't. Uh, so he's, he's asking us over here? Yeah. We're going to answer that question in just a moment. Oh. We have to sign off on Instagram. Gotcha. Yeah. We want to thank My our bad. patrons. And we always try to answer our patron questions first. True. So True. we're going to do that. Right. Uh, so if you do have questions on Instagram, please come over to, to, to YouTube. Mm-hmm. One last time. Fixthisbuildat.com forward slash live. Uh, and you can join That's us right. on YouTube. We're going to finish the conversation over there. So I'm going to sign off. Uh, happy Mother's Day to all of the the Instagram mothers. As you know, we're going to still hang out with the YouTube mothers. Um, but yeah, hope you guys are enjoying yourself today and had a great day. And I'm going to be launching a new video very soon, the beginning of this week. Um, I say very soon, more like Tuesday, Wednesday, whatever. Uh, be on the lookout for that. Can't wait to uh, talk to you guys over there in the comments. Hope you guys enjoy it because it's really awesome. 
uh, and go over to YouTube to join us there. All right, guys, get out there, build something awesome this week. Bye. All right, in video. There we go. All right, YouTube. We're all ears now. Look, that was fast. That was mm -hmm. 11 minutes, so we're getting good. We're getting down to the, yeah, getting the to 10 the, minutes. Getting that down I, to business there. Getting down to business. All right, share the story. All right. Kill this. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go over, because we did, that with Mother's Day, we just got a little bit out of sorts. So we were I'm a little gonna, busy I'm going to go mom. over real quick. <laughs> I am kind of hyped up right now. I know you are a little bit. I'm like, <laughs> okay. I mean, how many, did, did you have more than once more? I only had once more. But did you have an extra No. Um, tell them about, no, tell them, I did not. I didn't even do that. Tell them about Once what we did. Plenty. Tell them what we did last we do? time with the cookies. Oh, I had a genius idea. Let's she just did. say it I was thinking, um, how can I up the s'more game? <laughs> so we <laughs> took Chips Ahoy cookies, the just regular old Chips Ahoy cookies, and used those with the chocolate and the marshmallow instead of the graham cracker. See, when she said like, hey, we should use Chips Ahoy, I'm like, oh, sweet. Like, we'll get rid of the graham and the chocolate. She's no. like, no, no, no. We're no. still doing the chocolate. Plus the chocolate chip. It's a s'more. You cannot get rid of the chocolate. It's in the chocolate chip cookie. I don't care. It was, if it was. It was ridiculous. It was so good. It was really as as sweet. I, ate it. I know. That was last Even week. Even though it weighs, you know. We eat s'mores kind of a lot. I mean, Compared to most people, I think, because Brad loves making a campfire. And so whenever we make a campfire, inevitably our kids are like, can we, we have a s'more? Wood. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. And, like, and, and we, we burn all the good All stuff. the good stuff. His mom was like, what do you mean you're burning walnut? And he's like, we had, it was like the tiniest little scrap wood. We had walnut, maple, and cherry. Mm -hmm. it, was, uh, it was quite the campfire. Nothing uh, but the best for the mom <laughs> on the Mother's Day. We want to give uh, a big thank you and welcome to Pedro Gomez. Pedro, thank you so much hey, for Pedro, joining. Hey, Pedro. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. The... Um, Builders Club over That's on awesome. patreon.com forward slash fix this build that. You yep. can feel free oh. to write that yep, in yep, yep. Give, pay, give him a there. So uh, what we're, one of the things we're doing is moving over to uh, Patreon and having the questions. So we would like to have our group there where we can answer their questions first and they mean? get first shot at it. Patreon. Okay. That's what I thought. Dot com forward slash fix this build that. Um, if you're interested at all in joining that, Susan's going to put a little link down there for you. But we did have a question come in. Um, and I believe it was oh, Matt Powell. Matt Powell had a question for the next live. Matt Powell asks, uh, what program do I use to make my designs and cut lists? He's currently learning SketchUp and uh, using Open Cut List Extension. So um, he's asking specifically about the cut list, not necessarily the design, because uh, I, I think he knows mm -hmm. that I do use cut, uh, mm -hmm. SketchUp. So I use SketchUp for all my designs. Um, I've been using SketchUp for over a decade, well over a decade. Uh, my engineering background in my schooling i learned autocad r13 for all you old fogey engineers out there like me uh and that was that was a great intro obviously to getting 3d modeling and, and cad development so doing sketchup was really easy because sketchup is, is kind of like cad for dummies if you will um fusion 360 is like a whole nother ball of wax and I'm trying to learn that right now very slowly. I haven't really put a lot of effort into it, but I use SketchUp and then um, I actually design all this, the, the cut lists myself because I'm a glutton for punishment. I actually don't use a cut list. I literally go in there and do them myself. It's, I actually kind of enjoy it. <laughs> I actually enjoy it a lot. So uh, of just like doing the puzzle, I really liked Tetris when I was young, and I think that's part of it. You, I could see you doing that. You're very strategic. Yeah. So I like I like taking around because I like to. What a lot of the cutlass programs don't do is factor in, like if you want to do continuous drawer fronts and have the same grain, like they just kind of put it everywhere, and make it like the absolute most efficient without thinking about. And I'm sure there's ones that you can do that, but like if I wanted three drawer fronts to be all in a row. Um, you know, a lot of the programs will put one here and one here and one there, mm -hmm. uh, but then you wouldn't have the continuous grain. And I like doing that on my drawers and as well as like the mm -hmm. cabinets. So all these cabinets. You like a clean look. I love the Very clean Very cohesive. Look. Cohesive and yeah. And the, consistent. I mean, the tabletop thing, the desk mm -hmm. has that kind of, what would you call it's that? It's got the waterfall, waterfall edge on the I was side. I thinking that's what it was. So I like doing stuff like that. Um, so I, I do it by hand, honestly. And what is it, you know, by hand, I'm doing it on the computer. Uh, I will use those Cutlist apps. I think I use the one called, there's a plugin for SketchUp called Cutlist. And uh, I use that on occasion if I get in a bind and I'm like, ah, oh, like I can't fit all the pieces on a, on a sheet. I'll do that to have it show me what the right way or a different possible way is. Mm -hmm. So there you go, Matt. That is, um, that is the question. That is the answer to the question. 
Uh, and then Jose, Jose, I don't know if Jose's still over here, but Jose asked. Um, I will look. Ho, Jose asked about uh, what finish I was using on the desk, and I am using Rubio Monocoat. Uh, I got it right here, actually. I'll tell you what, you know, not sponsored. <gasps> Sorry. Wow. Some, Travis some, Porter just said Central America is a region of North America. I don't know if that's true or not, Travis, but I, I'm, I'm going to vote with that. Sorry, continue. I disagree. <laughs> I don't know. I, I agree. I'm, I'm probably completely, completely wrong. We'll research this after. We will. Okay, uh, go ahead. Sorry. Rubio Monaco is what I'm using. Rubio Pure. Mm. Love this stuff. Like I said, you know, they're not a sponsor or anything in the build. This is just really awesome stuff. If you've not used Rubio, try it because it's by far the easiest finish I have ever used and applied. Uh, it's also by far uh, the most expensive finish I have used. It smells good too. It smells delightful. It's like so like that. That's not bad. I mean, it's it's no, good. No, I mean, like actually. it actually it yeah. smells sweet. Somehow. It smells like uh, I don't know. It's hard to describe. It is. It smells like pancakes or something. It does not smell like pancakes. Pancakes? Grab it. Grab some. Don't don't run off with your mic. I don't know where it is. The rag right there. That blue rag? Yeah. Okay, I'll be right back. Go grab it. We'll we'll do a smell test. Oh my gosh. What does yeah. and put in the comments? What do you think Rubio smells like? I think this is disgusting. This is like, you know. All right. No, it's not quite like. I mean, it's. I think th it's linseed oil based. I'm pretty sure this is not what it smells like though when it's fresh. Sorry, I gotta get my mic back on. Sir. This is disgust. This looks disgusting. So you're saying it's not. It. That's not what it smells oh, like. Oh yeah. It's fresh. No, it's sweet. It's like. It's like a sweet smell. It's okay for us to <laughs> sniffing it. No. Really. We're huffing linseed oil. Don't do so, this at home. Yeah, the, the, the thing that I really love about the Rubio is, uh, it's. Super low VOC, so like when you when you do it, and you're like I don't even wear a respirator when I when I apply it, which is awesome because if you're using like an oil-based polyurethane, that is a disaster. You know you got to like gear mm. up or like have headaches, um, cool. and then your shop smells like that for like the the next day at least. Uh, so it doesn't have any of that, and then you don't have to brush it. You wipe it on, rub it in with a Scotch Brite pad, and, and then wipe really it off. It's really fast to dry it too, right? Did you just say that? Fast to dry, right? Yeah. So if, if you have a dusty shop. You know, if you're worried about cutting mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, like same thing, you apply finish to something and then you can't do any more work like for the rest of until it dries. Um, that is not the, the case with this stuff. As soon as you wipe it off, you're good. Like there's nothing that's going to stick to it. Um, so you could be out, you know, you could get done in 15, 30 minutes um, and go back to work if you needed to. Mm. So I'm a huge fan of, of Rubio. Um, and they, they, they sent me that can, but they don't. Sponsor the channel. Sponsor. Sponsha. <laughs> Sponsha. Non-paid. Um, uh, they did send that to me for free, but I would buy it anyway. I'll yeah. Tell them that. You would. Because I still want them to send it to me. But. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. No one tell them. No. I've, yeah. I actually, I bought I bought some other ones. I bought the stained ones. Um, so and I'll continue to buy and support because they are awesome. Okay. All That's right. Good. What do we have? Um, okay. A couple of things. Susan has been uh, manning I've been, the comments. I've been commenting. So I love it. Check the comments. All right. Um, we wanted, okay, back to Michael Grover. Wait, so this is something we're trying. So like Susan's going to try I'm to be a little to more, more active in, the, in yeah. the comment section. We'll see how that goes. I will lose track of what you're talking about from time to time. But I that's lose okay. track of what I'm talking about <laughs> from time to time. <laughs> well, that'll make two of us then. That's good. <laughs> oh, we get off track on conversations so easily. The two of us. We've been known to do that. We go down tangents. Too. Okay, oh, so dude, there's flying here. Oh gosh, I mean, this is Brad like, this, is. I'm the fly master. The this fly is master. one of my um, one of my most prized gosh. tool. I should get you a golden one like that. Like you know, what I should do is make like a like a walnut handle for this. Oh my gosh. He as long as I'm okay. Please, I feel swatter. like you're flicking fly guts around. I know it looks clean. I don't care. You know, Microscopic like... fly guts are flying in my beer right now. I don't want them in there. This could potentially have the cure for COVID-19. I mean, I'm sure it's hanging out on our fly swing. That's so gross stuff. <laughs> but but as real, long as I've known him, he see... like he's like a little oh, yeah. like a I don't know. You're like like he like assassin. waits. Yeah, like he's like ten step, like and he is assassin. so good at killing flies, which is good. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes too. All yeah. Around. I know it's just I, yeah, it's a know, lot carpenter bees I'll... oh the carpenter bee trap that we have is excellent it was excellent yeah first time after <laughs> many years of trying the wrong ones we've got a good one off track though okay right, what do we have here? michael grover wants to know alternative alternative plywoods in baltic birch remember yes. he's got the two yes, hour drive so off. what can he do uh michael hope you're michael. still here yeah hopefully he didn't peace out <laughs> 
So, uh, Michael, what I would um, what I would tell you is two things: is that two things. Th there's there's two parts of Baltic birch that are um, there, there's two really nice parts of Baltic birch. The one is like the multiple plies and no voids. Uh, that is a really like that's to, for me. That's the the mm -hmm. best part about Baltic birch is that it's just so dense. I mean, it's literally like solid wood, except just stable because it's just those layers. You have very, very few voids. Uh, and so if you're looking to get that out of it, it's going to be hard to replace, honestly, because most plywood is poplar core and, uh, you know, you're going to have to go to a high, a much higher grade to get something that doesn't have voids in it. But even then with poplar, it's going to be much less dense and will hold screws much less securely as well as joinery. Um, so, you know, on that one, I don't, I, I kind of like radiata pine, honestly, even though, but so where it falls behind is the next category, but radiata pine is similar to, in, in a way that it's no similar to it, but it's got, uh, their pine plies, um, which seem to be like, seem to be less, um, I don't know, it seems to be less voids from the stuff I've had. I mean, it's not gonna be voidless for sure, but it's still only like five to seven plies in it. So it's not like the 13 plies you'd get with Baltic Birch. But what Radiata Pine is missing severely is like the, the beauty of the Baltic, of the Birch, which is, you know, basically like maple. Um, so you don't get that nice, you know, this is Baltic Birch right behind us. So you, get, you don't get that nice look, you get that nasty, I think it's nasty, um, I'm a snob, what can I say? Uh, that nasty construction grade uh, pine look to it that is just, you know, it just screams like pine. <laughs> uh, so, you know, that's the downside of Radiata Pine. And uh, so Baltic Birch gives you that in, in aces. So if you just want the look of Baltic Birch, you could just get birch plywood, but you're not gonna have the same cores. So th there's really not a great alternative that I know of. And, you know, let us know that in the comments um, in the section if, if you guys know of a better alternative. Okay, good, yeah? Yeah. All right, good. great. Yeah. yeah. So, night monkey? Um, I'm going, yeah. I know, Night Monkey. What was that from? Spider Man Homecoming. Ah, uh, yes, okay. Night Monkey. Um, yeah. All righty, so we also have Travis Porter, again, said Central America is a pre part of North yeah, America, yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah. also Big Willie's Garage yeah. agreed with him. Whatever. So, Listen. just saying. For the just record, oh, that's right. Okay, Benjamin Gardner wants to know what epoxy do you recommend to fill cracks? I enjoy, question. yeah, and because I had to, no, I didn't do it on this one. I didn't on the, what was the last one? The, uh, oh, the dining the table. The dining table, so yeah. So the dining table, uh, I'd use the Total that. Boat 2 to 1 um, high performance with, depends upon how I'm feeling, how, how patient or impatient I am. A lot of times I'll use the fast hardener. If I've got time and I'm going to let it go overnight, I'll use the slow hardener. Uh, the only difference there is the fast hardener sometimes will catch bubbles because it'll uh, set up before the bubbles can escape. So if you've got something, if you've got something really shallow, fast hardener all the way. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's a little bit deeper, you may want to go with a, a slow hardener. Uh, but yeah, that's what I use is Total Boat High Performance, and it works awesome. Uh, the, the other, if you have small cracks, if you have really small cracks, um, there's this other stuff, uh, Star Bond Adhesives, that is that works really nicely, and they make it in like a um, in like a black. So this is like a it's like CA glue and you put it in, you can use activator and this dries immediately because you just put it in. Um, but I wouldn't recommend that for anything that's, you know, more than just a hairline crack uh, because it, it just doesn't, you know, it doesn't build that well. It's not kind of meant for that application or you'd have to do a whole ton of applications like apply, squirt, apply, squirt. And I've not had great success with that. It starts looking weird and bubbly hmm. or the epoxy looks nice and smooth. Okay. Um, all right. Next question. Okay, so a little side combo here. Mm -hmm. Jack McDevitt is wanting to know um, a couple things, but one of them is where's our merch? I said on our site, and then he said he yes. can't find it. Do we still have the We're, merch at the top of the banner, or did we change it? Fixesbuild.com forward did. slash shop. Never mind, didn't do that. Okay, I'll do that. Or t-shirt or forward slash hat. Okay. Any of those will take you there. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's forward up there. slash shop. Forward slash shop, yeah. Okay. Boom, for our merch. I just put it on there. So, yeah. 
But was it? A, is it still on the banner? Or did we move no, it? it's not we on moved the banner it. anymore. I moved it underneath. Couldn't the, remember. Um, yeah. The plans. I didn't want to tell him wrong, so I was kind yeah. of waiting. I moved that about a week ago under the plans. Okay. Yep. Um, all right. And then um, Blaine has an update on his cedar posts. Oh, let's hear it. He has had to stop after the first one being sanded. We will sand the other one tomorrow and hoping to stain by Thursday or Friday. Told him that we are requiring pictures from him. He said, okay. I love it. Um, yeah. Perfect. And then Call Me Mac is here, came over from Instagram. Jack McDevitt, we just talked about that. And then, um, and we, how do you say that? Where? It's high from. Oh, from, I don't know, is that Anguilla? Anguilla? I, I don't know Anguilla. how to say that. Yeah. Anime, Destiny, Destiny, I don't know. So, and then we have some um, advice on s'mores, which some sounds delicious. <laughs> Dark chocolate raspberry, Gir raspberry Gir Ghirardelli Gir squares. Mm. I know, it'd be great. I can, I can see that. I know, we're gonna try that. Um, and then one wants to know, have you ever heard of using draining flex pipe for dust collection as a cheaper alternative to dust collection hose? Mm, I don't think that, I've never seen anybody do that. Drain um, flex pipe. Drain flex hmm. pipe. Yeah. yeah, like I know, I get the general idea there. I, yeah. I don't think that would be a good idea for several reasons. Um, well, mainly just one reason, but that it would show itself in a couple different ways is is uh, that it's, it, it won't hold up to it because as you start putting that vacuum into it, it'll deform and do weird things. Um, I've never seen anybody use it. Hmm. That would be the biggest reason I would not do it. Because, <laughs> there might be a reason for that. Right, I've seen a lot of stuff. Uh, the stuff I see used the most is the... Um, the what is it dvw do it drain um drain water what's the v is it a v i don't know but it's a, a drain water sewer type stuff huh. uh not sewer i'm sorry so it's like wastewater uh i keep saying waste not wastewater not like schedule 40 but it's like it's a thinner we wall. know all the things it's not it's like a dv i think it's i think it's dvw or dwv drain water veg vegetation vegetation i don't know Something with a V. We don't know. What would the V be? I don't know. Drain, I don't even know what water. this thing is, so I've got nothing. D I think it's DWV. DWV. So drain, water, Driving and wall. ventilation? Not ventilation. Could be ventilation. Ventilation. Driving while... Ventilation for the wind. Vegetable. Um, <laughs> so, okay, Jack wants to know, what app or website do you recommend best for blueprints? I don't think we really know about blueprints, right? Or do you uh, know about blueprints? Drain, waste, vent. Nice Boom, job. that was me, yes. Well, it was like a combined effort. DWV, yep, drain waste vent. Go check check that out. That's what you want. Um, what at you least want. that's what most people use. Uh, it comes in like, sometimes it's green. Uh, you can get it also it's white. It's a green hose? Uh, green PVC, like. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like large, it's four inch, six inch. And you can get it in the really big sizes. Cause like wow. when you're doing dust collection, you want the pipes as big as you can get mm -hmm. them as long as you can keep them that size because it's the sense. opposite of a shop vac. Shop vac is like um, high speed, low volume. And the other one, the, 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 you, what you want is low speed, high volume. Oh. And so you want it to be moving because that's what moves chips. And that's what, how you can really how get the chips. How do you know these things? Because every, every magazine, what I mean, magazine? it's just boggling my mind. <laughs> Seriously, you, it moves the chips. like. Wow. I just, I know these things. You do notice. He's very observant. So, you know these things or you notice things? I said both. I know, I know these things. Both would be appropriate, a though. Joke for you. you do, I know. This is true. Okay. Um, do we know anything about an app? Sniper. I like that. I know. Word. I like I it. Well, do you know anything about blueprints? An app for blueprints? You don't really do blueprints so much. An app? I mean, you, there's I don't SketchUp know. Layout. Okay. Is the, it's in the pro version. You can use the layout. The pro version. Pro version. Yep. Now we're talking about bug zappers. Oh, salt shooter. Salt shooter, Rick, right? I've seen those. I've never and tried them. And then, um, so Dale says, bug, bug assault rifle salt gun is what my brother uses in his shop. Wouldn't that be messy? Or am I, am I, do I have the wrong understanding of what a salt shooter would be? No, I think it's like rock salt. Right. Like, but that's like still like going to leave a mess. Lick it up, get some chips and salsa. I mean, I guess the the fun is worth it, right? <laughs> yeah. It's like buckshot if you had like a cat, at a, at if, you a had, if you had a, a deer, a pet deer, shop deer. A pet deer, a shop, shop deer. deer. We don't need a dog. We just need a deer. Yes, and apparently, yeah, Central America is part of North America. I'm, I'm fine with that. Ah, 
I mean, I didn't really know that. No I just... I got a good laugh out of it, though, thinking that it wasn't, when actually the joke was on. Well, I didn't... I really had no idea it was part of either. North America. Like, this, we this, learned this something like, new. This is like, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Oh, like, my gosh. Our trounced. fifth grader, for sure, would have probably known that. It's disturbing. He would crush us. We he's, do have a fifth grader. He's you know? like a... Yeah, he would be good at that. All right. Yes, he would. Is Any you, Baltic news? birch what your cabinets are made of? Jack, yes. All yes. of this stuff is made of Baltic birch. Um, any news on the new tools yet? Uh, no news. Uh, no we're news. still kind of Whoa. social distancing ourselves yeah. from, tool, from new tools. <laughs> from new tools. They look dangerous. Uh, yes. uh, yeah, we're kind of laying low so still. Radiata, yeah. Dale's digging the radiata. Dale, yeah. I like it. I like it. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, um, like the electronic uh, tennis racket people are talking about. I don't I, know about this, but yeah, it sounds oh, it's intriguing. Like, it it like, looks like a tennis racket, except it like electrocutes. Oh, blast. my gosh, you need that. I know. Um, Mark DeMaker says, just bought some Baltic birch to build a wooden desk. No, wooden clock gears and all. Baltic oh. birch is so expensive. Just not used to spending so much money on wood. Yeah. Yes. But you yeah. went over all the reasons why it's worth it, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's uh, I mean, you're literally like paying, you're literally buying solid wood. And I don't know, what would that be a board? So it depends on where it's at in your area, but that's 32. That's not the same as board feet though. So that would be 32 square feet. So a board foot is oh. 12 inches long, uh, 12 inches wide and one inch thick. So that would be one foot, one square foot, an inch thick. Uh, so if we did 32 divided We're talking by, about Baltic birch right now? We are, so if we did 32 yeah. times, so if we did 32 times 0.75, that's 24 square feet, and I pay uh, about 60 bucks. So let's mm -hmm. divide that. So I pay 62 divided by 24. So you're paying uh, 250, a little bit over two dollars and fifty cents a board foot if you if you think about it that way. So you know, I guess if you're doing if you're wanting to do something that high quality, if you're wanting to get Baltic birch, mm -hmm. or excuse me, if you're wanting to get birch, can you get birch for 250 a square foot? Um, uh, excuse me, 250 board foot, and the answer to that is probably going to be no. And the other answer to that is you're going to have to mill it. You sure can't get it S4S at that price. So you know that that's kind of the way I think about it. Is it's like I'm buying solid wood mm -hmm. in a four by eight format. Dale has a little tip. He's pro tip from Dale. He says, Mark, look for a CNC commercial sign shop in your area. They usually mm -hmm. use Baltic and may give away offcuts for free by the pallet. Dude, that's a great. That's Dude. a great tip. Yeah. I mean, if they're... If they're he said for small parts, it's a great way to cover the spread. I was going to say, if they're a good shop, yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. then they will probably not... They shouldn't have... You know, because you can really optimize. But, you know, you some cuts, some CNC designs, you just can't optimize right. it. So, yeah, you're not going to get like a full run. But, uh, yeah, if you needed small pieces... Yeah. But, you know, you're not going to be able to build oh. cabinets out of that, out of the offcuts. Um, all right. And then people were chiming in vents. Dale knew it was vent. Um, yeah, green pipes. Um, Teresa, did I install didn't security you, system? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Teresa. Uh, Happy Mother's Day if you're a mom or have a mom, Fernandez. all that. What? what now? I missed that. Simp Lisa oh, Fernandez. Simply Safe. I wonder if she was saying Simply Safe and that was like auto. Oh. <laughs> simply Lisa Fernandez. I don't know. Uh, uh, <laughs> I did not do the security system here uh, with the Simply Safe. Like, I didn't do it. Yeah. Spot with them or anything. Uh, we do have we do have video cameras and ring and all that good stuff, uh, but it's hmm. not like a, a simply safe style one. Yeah, Dale's got another tip. Rockler makes a threaded specific adapter to to that pipe, makes life easy to flip to flex hose at the machines too. Hmm, nice. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rockler does some really cool stuff with uh, dust collection. They do that very well. Okay. Oh, all right. Character Red, hey, and all the way, by the way, Jose is here. He was commenting earlier, so, because you were saying something about that right. earlier. I, yeah. I approve um, your comment, Big Willie, about shooting your wife in the butt with a <laughs> gun. <laughs> Looking at making a Hell mallet. Hell for review. I shoot my wife in the butt with a salt gun. I can see why they would hold that for review. <laughs> I proved it. Oh, I proved that message. Do not be I getting any ideas. Be you would absolutely, and then you would be in trouble. <laughs> um, no, Character Red wants to, looking Trust at me. making a mallet of ironwood, ironwood, and possibly maple or alder with a hint, yeah, yeah. only a hint of walnut. Do you have any experience with ironwood? You do a little bit, I right? Do. Yep. With it being the hardest wood, I'm worried about my joiner. As well, you uh, should be. Yeah. I don't know. I just said that like this. It <laughs> seems well, appropriate. I don't um, really know. Uh, ironwood is a 
complete joy to turn. A complete joy to complete turn. That joy. is like, that's a bold statement. It is a bold Why statement. Why is it so good to turn? Wouldn't it be the hardest wood so it would be hard to turn? That's not how turning works necessarily. Oh, oh so you so want a hard wood, you don't want a the soft The more dense, wood. right, because like it's really oh, soft. Oh, gotcha, because like then it's got out. more like sustenance to right. it, so, so it, it can it turn clean. Right, to stay together, exactly. Gotcha. So like when you're turning iron there. wood, it's just like, it's you great. can just shake, I mean, it, you have to give it more pressure, but you can really shake, and that's the other thing too, is it's like, it's a little bit more forgiving because you kind of got to get into it instead of just being like, oh, like I accidentally just blew out half the thing. Like you have to, you have to tell it where you want it to go. Gotcha. But when it does, it That's works nice. really nicely. Um, I don't think I machined. I may have at most cut it with a miter saw. Um, I mean, it, it's going to dull your blades like the joiner. It'll dull your blades more than poplar, <laughs> but uh, you know, what are you going to do? Like you need to, you need to do it. I mean, I think it's not going to like break your blade in half. Or right. It's probably just going to, you know, dull it faster than, than normal, but you know, don't be scared about it. Just run it through and, um, you know, see how it does. If you have a pair of old blades, I know some people keep old blades on hand and depending upon how easy your joiner is to change the blades out, it might be worthwhile to put the older blades on there. Uh, because the nice thing about, you know, when you're turning, like you're not going to, um, uh, if you're going to be, if you're just joining it so that you can get square sides, you don't necessarily, uh, you know, it doesn't matter if it's got nicks in it or whatever, which, you know, your old joiner blades might have. So that'd be a tip is possibly use a, a set of old oh. joiner blades and uh, that'll help you out not to dull down the new ones. What else we got? All right. Here? So we have a couple more things. Um, Let's hear it. Am I drinking Garrett, still reserve? Uh, yeah, I don't no, know. It's still reserve. Not, that sounds Goose fancy. Island, Goose Island. And I've got Hazy Little Light Pay as normal. I just Goose sang Island it. I don't Beer know Company. Why. Wait, what's the actual? That's that, oh, um, it's the new. It's on the other ne side. Next Coast, Next Coast IPA. IPA. Yeah. It's from Goose it's Island. It's a good one. It's kind of sweet that it's good. Um, yes. Okay. So Garrett says he got his Amana mm -hmm. router bit. It was on sale. Thanks for the recommendation. Unless it sucks, then it's all your fault. <laughs> So, yeah. And then um, Jack says, okay, so Jack said down here, he's 18. Nice, Jack. And he has customers coming in from left and right at him with projects and everything, a little overwhelmed. So, but that's awesome. Like, I mean, we've had a couple kids on here or like commenting. And I know you're not whoa, a kid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Young people. We sound old when I say young people. Young adult. Well, what? Could what, you imagine just, being 18 and somebody calling you a kid? No, I'm just remember? saying like Jack. teenagers. We should say teenagers because there was not, a kid. I guess he's, he's 18. Okay. He's a teenager. Okay, technically that is. A but teenager. there was a. But he's an adult. But who was there? Was another? Legally, there was another. He's an adult. Gotcha. You're an adult, Jack. I'm sorry. I take it all back. But no. I mean, I, I just know that if my 18-year-old was Jack. 18, I'd be like, "You're still my baby." If I had some 40-year-old so. woman calling me a kid. I'd... <laughs> I like that you rounded down on my age, though. Appreciate that. Mother's it is Mother's Day, after all. Anyway, I'm saying teenager. And I think that's awesome, though, that he's got anyway, a whole business going I, uh, on and stuff. Uh, it's super great. Applaud that. Very super applaud. impressive. We were is, not doing this at 18. My niece is also 18, and I, I just wrote her a uh, graduation a card. In the card. He wrote a book. It was, it was a book. It was a lot. And I was it was very her sweet. To, uh, you know, pursue what, what uh, she wants in life and don't be afraid to change directions. Right. But at the same time, don't give up easily. Right. And continue learning and all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, you know, exciting time coming out of yeah. coming out of high school and going on to whatever's next. But um, the other question about- And it can be kind of about, scary because you don't know what's next necessarily. Yeah, but, but uh, yeah. go check out my podcast, Made for yes, Profit. Yes, that was good. Yeah. Go check out the podcast, uh, asking questions about how did I do the website and all that stuff. Uh, did you see his comment? He also wants to know, when did you become interested in your yeah, trade? Yeah, that's what I was answering. Okay, just making sure. And how did I start Continue. my own business? Go check out Made for Profit. We talk about all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. and I think you'll get a lot of value out of that podcast. Yeah. So go check that out. Also check out Pat Flynn. It'd be also good, you know, Incredible. like for business stuff. Smart but passive income. Small passive. Yeah. Podcast. Thank you. Good stuff. All right. Oh gosh, I just jumped. It jumps sometimes. Um, oh, Teresa. Oh, that is. Her a mom big just passed. Bummer. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's got to be a tough day. Um, my heart goes out to you. My dad died a long time ago, and Father's Day is always hard. Yes. So, yeah. I, yeah. Yep. Um, Call me Mac. I can buy three times the amount of solid wood instead of plywood, and there's almost no AAA quality plywood around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's going to depend upon your area uh, because, like, for me, I can't get that in a 
and, and it, it's a trade-off, right? So if you're using plywood, the biggest thing for plywood is that you don't have to go through, you can get the solid wood, but then you've got to do all the milling if you're getting it rough. But even if you're getting it S4S, which is completely surface dimensional, you still got to do the glue ups. Got to do the glue ups. And then you're going to more than likely lose, uh, you know, you're going to lose some thickness as you true up the glue ups. True up the glue up. <laughs> True up the glue up. Uh, because uh, of seams and whatever, or you're gonna have to use the domino or the biscuit joiner or dowels or whatever uh, to make sure that it gets nice and aligned. And if you know, you're gonna, you're, what you're saving in dollars up front on materials, you're investing in time to get something similar. Okay. Um, all right, so a couple things here. St. Ides, big... special brew, Big Willie. Oh, St. Ides, Big Willie. Oh, he Susan said special no review. I don't know. I don't know. What is this? The Crooked Eye. What is this? Uh, that was like a, a malt beverage. Oh, okay. You uh, had me at malt beverage. Yeah, it was a malt beverage that was very popular in the uh, late 90s. So when we were in college. When I was in college. But I don't remember that to, one. To, partake in the crooked eye the crooked eye because that was their little oh uh, chihuahua okay yes. moving and on snoop dogg was one of their uh, oh. brand ambassadors was he really yes. i like snoop dogg okay so big willie's garage do you have a promo code for the craig track saw i don't have any promo codes for anything okay. craig unfortunately unfortunately um, i um, wish i did like i need to i need to I know, that'd be awesome that. we should talk to them we should i hey, mean i I've, craig yeah we'll like you up. we we um are huge we use their stuff a lot yeah we're, we're huge supporters Great. of theirs mm -hmm. and they're huge supporters of ours yep um we are symbiotic <laughs> i sell a ton I of I, I i keep throwing stuff over there in the trash can i sell a ton uh, of craig stuff through the website uh meaning that um, through people find it through Amazon. Us. They, yeah. they click on it and yep. like, it gives me a report at the end of the month mm -hmm. to say like, here's all the stuff that people bought and there are like a ton of Craig stuff on there. Uh, unfortunately, it's, you know, I don't have any special codes or anything that I can give you. Uh, and, you know, and it doesn't charge you anything to buy it. You know, if you click on my site, it doesn't charge you more. It's just like a um, <sighs> affiliate situation. Call me Max, sorry, unrelated. Call me Max says, here in Mexico, the government restricted the distribution of beer because of COVID-19. Beer went up in price like almost double in just a couple of days. Wow, wow. end of days, my read, friend. I need to read more about this. I know. I think they're just mad. I heard that they stopped making Corona. Like, no. no, I did, like a month ago. They said because sales were down by like a third or no, something. I heard the exact opposite. Fake See, I don't news. know. I Fake don't know. News. You can read I, anything I read, on the I internet. Because I, I was I, like, I felt so bad for Corona. I legitimately read an article that was saying like Corona, because like I'm more in the camp of like seeing people that are buying it and thinking it's funny. I haven't seen anyone buy it and drink it thinking it's funny. And like online. <laughs> you know what I mean? Not, like, <laughs> like memes and stuff? Like, oh, no, I haven't. Have you? Oh, yeah, like, Evidently, we are on very different wavelengths online. I'm watching like highbrow stuff, and he's watching what? like I've other seen things. What you watch is not highbrow. I like like cat videos and things exactly. like that. Exactly. She yes. watches Ellen. I would call I Ellen. Do. Highbrow. I like Ellen. Ellen is very funny. I like Ellen a lot. I would not call that highbrow. I mean, I don't only watch Ellen, but whatever. Like we are off. We are off. Watching. Right. Anyway. I can't um, come up with a good name. Okay. Steel Reserve is What's not the name expensive. of the podcast? Blaine, the podcast is called Made for Profit. You can type that in there. Yeah. Oh, I could do that. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, and then what's that called? Pet Fun? I didn't catch. I don't know what that was about. I, I don't know. I don't okay. Know. Um, I think we're kind of caught or up. Just finish fun. up installing the shop profit? cabinets for no your plans. I don't know. <laughs> Just finished up installing the shop cabinets from the plans, and they look slick. Yes, reasons. good. Love it. Send me so uh, nice. a DM with the pictures, okay. man. I'd love to see them. Or if you posted it, uh, <laughs> if you have anything that you posted, if you do a story. If you guys ever build anything uh, from my plans or whatever and you do stories, uh, I don't do repost on my main, you know, I don't repost on the main feed. But uh, whenever people do a story like, hey, I just got done building this, check it out. I always love to repost those and, and add those to my story to share that. Because I love seeing people who uh, have built their own and they're getting organized in their shop. They're building flip tops. They're building minor saw stations. They're building cabinets. They're building furniture from inside as well. I love seeing that. So please, please uh, uh, share that. I'd love to see it. Thanks, Caleb. Yeah, we, we're, yeah, right. I love it. All right. So, um, it's a be yeah. <laughs> that's, that's exactly the one I was thinking about, Dale. It was like, there's the meme and it was like, 
It was like meanwhile in the, in the fridge. Oh, I did see that. That was really funny. Meanwhile in the fridge, and like the phone was in one corner. <laughs> Social one distancing. Side, and like all yeah. The food was on the other corner. I did see that. That was funny. There have been a lot of really funny COVID nineteen like related memes. Yes. That's just stating the obvious, though. Is not no, funny. that is not funny at all. But, you know, in in the face of adversity, sometimes you have to have humor to uh, you know help you yep. deal with it. All right, what else do we have up in here? Yingling is the beer of choice. America's oldest brewery, uh, Juan, absolutely. Right, we like Yingling. We've got some we fridge, like, I think. I think we do. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. I Look, think Carrie, Carrie, Carrie Durrett has bought a ton of Corona since then. He's, he okay. knows what I'm talking about. I have about. thought about it because it's getting warmer out. That's kind of like a summer beer for us, you know? Yeah, So, but I know. I haven't bought anything yet. Well. Um, no, yeah. So, anything? What, oh. what did you write? Did I, oh. It's the name of our, did you actually write it out? Oh, our, I did, our, our up podcast there. is called Made for Product. Yeah. Got you. Yes. I like it. Got yeah. you. I like you said our podcast. Well, I meant podcast. like our, like, yeah, it's not Brad really ours. It's podcast. Brad and John Malecki's Susan's podcast. Susan's never been on. Uh, I've not. We talked about me being on there. Dude. Many times I have said I should okay, be on yeah, the podcast. So just for any of you Made no. for Profit listeners, uh, we are on a bit of a hiatus right now. Hiatus. Hiatus. It's a fun word. Uh, John is just hammering super hard on YouTube and oh. doing a wonderful job he's doing great well. his fire uh, table is awesome it's volcano it's fire evil. it's fire it's fire <laughs> and yeah. uh and, and the other and one so too. We're, we're taking yeah. a bit of a breather breather i don't an know why i keep mimicking me everything you're saying i know stop I love it. now an, an <laughs> indefinite an indefinite breather uh we will be back at some point in time right doing something but it's, it's just not going to be regular quite honestly but uh one thing we should do what what's that is have like a wives episode oh we should we could bring on Sarah. Yeah, Sarah and, and I can just chat. We'll just have side conversations on there. Yeah. Or and not. And like, be like, hey, what's, what's How do you it survive life? being married what's to a content creator? Be, what's it like being the spouse of a content creator? Well, we've talked about that a little bit on here, but not a ton. But yeah, like about... Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, that's true. We don't want to waste that content on Made for Profit. That's going to be on our podcast. I'm not saying that. No, I am saying that. <laughs> <laughs> What I think it would be valuable, though. I think Actually, there's a lot of people that are like wanting to go full time with something or yeah, build a business. That's where we could launch our podcast. And as a family, it's kind of stressful sometimes in the beginning. Very stressful. Very stressful. It's like a lot of unknown. It's kind of like COVID nineteen. A lot of unknowns. Especially if How you are have, things going to work if out? You have kids. Oh yeah, for sure. We had three. Things get dicey. Times. All we, very young. We still have three. I know, but I'm saying like they were all here already. It wasn't like we only had one when we started I was like, doing this. Is there this. another kid you want to tell me? No, about? You've been not not the from case. Me? No, you would have definitely heard the kid. Our kids are loud. Our kids are very loud. Very loud. Yeah. So, yeah. No, that'd be good. I okay. Um, and, and their mom. We're also very loud sometimes. Okay. Um, what was I the, telling the you? Oh, Blaine seal. really wants to know, rolling should he the roll seal. the, what is it? Uh, the yeah. seal on the post? Is it okay? Yeah. He's got like a yeah, 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 I got it. roller thing. Blaine, um, I, would, um, if you, I would, would roll it. Rolling it is a great, so the, the whole goal, so uh, this is uh, applying outdoor finish to a post and a deck stain seal. is sure. if you roll it on. Oh, he's using a, Ready Seal Mission Brown. I think he wants you to know that. Okay, that's I fine. don't know if that makes any difference. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay. The answer's still the same. Okay. Is um, the whole idea is just to get it on there uh, as fast as you can. All right, so like spraying is an awesome way, but a roller is another great way. But once you roll it on, if you know, if you've ever painted a wall, then you know when you roll that on, what you get is the nap of the roller leaves this texture. Um, and you don't necessarily want that on a post. So I would roll it on and then back brush it with a brush. So uh, like just dipping a brush and painting it on, it would take you a long time. But if you use a roller and roll it on and then come back with a brush and then basically just smooth it out, then what that'll do is it'll look like you painted it, but you've saved the time of rolling it on with the, br with the roller getting up there and then just uh, they call it back brushing because you're just basically putting those lines in it. That's what I would recommend. And then obviously do it, you know, with, with uh, the grain. So wax on, wax on, wax on. No, I'm sorry. That's wax on. Paint. Oh, yeah. It. Wax Paint. on, wax off. Paint what the was fence? this one? Paint what the was fence. It? <gasps> was it? We need to watch that movie. Was it? Just Paint the fence. Be the fence. I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. What was the What was, what was the, the Karate Kid? What oh my was gosh, the, that was, was such a good fence, movie. What was the Paint the fence? Up was it up, just? It wasn't just down. up down. Was up, it just up down? Down. I mean, that he was gonna stupid. like yell it at him too. Up, up down, up, 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 down, and then he was like. Mr. Miyagi. 
Man of yeah. Only in Life. I mean, wax that's how on, it Wax Off. That's that was such a great movie. Yeah, you can't beat Wax Off. Wax off. Uh, <laughs> right with the, yeah, I need a Corona with lime right now. I know. Uh, let's see here. A character Red been using uh, the downtime to catch up is on episode 14. You've got a long way to go. All right. Uh, I think we have 125 episodes there you at go. this point. Lots to keep you busy. Yeah. Um, and then I saw something else on here. I'm just replying. Um, Let's see here, Doctor. Oh, Adrian, Doctor Lumber, what is hey, up, my man? Hey, Adrian. Adrian, he's Dr. Yeah, over Lumber on Instagram. Doctor Lumber in the house. I like the name Doctor Lumber. I think she said Doctor awesome. Pepper. Doctor Pepper. Uh, question for you, Adrian. Uh, and, and anybody else, anybody right. who didn't uh, come straight over from Instagram, uh, was it just because I talked about? It? I mean, we're trying to figure out the best way to get the word out. Honestly, uh, we're looking at possibly moving the live show over to the main channel. The biggest reason I didn't do it in the first place is because I didn't want it to dilute the other content. But what I've since realized is I can make them unlisted so it doesn't show up and then have a playlist. So I still have them because you can have playlists um, on your channel page. Oh, right, right. That's about switching over. Possibly. Right. So yeah. you can have a playlist on your channel page that uh, will have unlisted videos. So we could do these lives and then have it unlisted. Uh, and then that way it'd be a lot easier because, you know, obviously we have mm -hmm. a much much larger following on our main channel than Slightly. we do here yeah uh just 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 a smidge 100x or so um yes and so i'm curious for those of you who uh didn't just join from instagram um or whatever that i, I mean assume you're either on my email list or you heard me talk about it on instagram uh, because those would be about the only two ways that i think we've thought we haven't done yeah. a video on the main channel yet which we need to. We do. About. We absolutely. We keep saying that, but we need to actually do it. I know. Yeah. Okay. But, but whatever. Yeah. Add that to the it's list. All good. So it's let, all good. Let what us know. It? Let us know um, uh, how you how you came over. Yeah. Call me Mac. Wants to know without thinking about VOC gases and all. Have you ever used Poly and an airless system with an an airless system? I have a nice HVLP system already, but someone was selling a cheap Graco system to me. Any thoughts? Um. Yeah, the, I have a Graco airless sprayer, and so um, do. it that is also HVLP. Just for the record, it's just a. Um, it depends on which one you have, but it's um, typically those are turbine less. Paid the fence. So it's Sorry. still it's still HVLP, uh, high volume, low pressure is what HVLP oh. stands for. Nice, nice, nice. Um, and I have the handheld cordless one from Graco, and uh, it is great for applying a ton of finish quickly. Uh, it is not great for, uh, you know, very accurate application of the finish. You're gonna get a ton of it. What I found is that you waste a ton of product. Like if if I was doing something like this, I would waste a ton of, of finish doing this uh, or like painting uh, two by twos if I had a desk, like my desk base. Um, if you're painting like a, if I was painting these cabinets, awesome application for like the airless sprayers, uh, the Graco style. On the other side of like a, a, a turbine based, like a, a Fuji or a Graco also does make those, um, Fuji, Erlex, those ones, you can, you can tune those in a little bit more because there's, um, on the airless sprayers, a lot of times you can't adjust the material flow. You just do that through the needle size and the fan size. So like on mine, the needle completely controls the amount of, of finish that goes through as well as the width of the fan. And so I have like one of the smallest ones on there and it, it uses a ton. So it, it would work well if you're, if you're doing something very big. If you're doing like just regular furniture other than like cabinetry, you're gonna waste a lot of material um, from overspray. So I, I, I wouldn't recommend it for that, but it, uh, for doing fine work but if you are doing something like you know applying poly to a, a big set of cabinets go for it um but just know you're, you're going to go through a lot of material okay um general consensus that we've gotten about keeping on the main channel or, or sorry keeping on the side channel or putting on the main channel is to keep it where it is to keep it where it is yeah well, because of course, um, because these are the people like well, you that, asked them what they thought, and I they're know, telling you what they thought. They think you I should told, keep it where it is. I, I think, yes. Yeah, the reason I, I was like, yeah. I was like, well, yeah, everybody's already here because it's well, like, yeah. yeah. 
I mean, they've, let's see. They've got a monopoly. Adrian just says, out. "There's like 27 people here." Adrian right now. <laughs> yeah. He says, "Just keep announcing it the way you have been. You got me." And then um, Big Willie's Garage says, "I think you keep it on the second channel. Keep it like Mark. Just start talking about the second channel on the main channel, and people would start to come over." And then he says, "When you get, when to get you over a thousand subs? I don't really know what that means, but like." Maybe like to get uh, to that point, maybe? I don't I mean, know. Maybe it's like want to get you. I don't know. When okay. to get you, I don't know. Sure. Yeah. So uh, the general consensus, yeah. The podcast after that. They, well, so the Jack was trying to figure out where to find the podcast. Gotcha. And then, thank you, Character Bread and, and JC, JC kind of so helped out on that. Well, JC says awesome. happy Mother's Day. He did. I replied. I said, thanks. Oh, awesome. We had a whole conversation here oh, while you were talking. I, I love that. I, love I know. That. It's good. Dad it yourself. What's up, my man? Thanks for the comments. Dad it yourself. Build. Love it. Uh, Use the build techniques, and now it has a 90 gallon fish tank on it. Whoa. What was this? Which one? Uh, using some of the cabinet, the oh. cabinetry build. Cool, a ninety-gallon fish tank. That seems 720 like a lot. pounds of water. That's Dang. a lot of water. So, like the base cabinet, maybe. Yeah, Can you I imagine can't... a huge fish tank sitting on that thing? That'd be big. Be that'd really be cool. awesome. I know, it'd be really neat. Our kids would probably. Swim oh my in gosh! It. Tyler would be in no, there. they would just watch the like... fishes all day. I feel like one day we would come down and be like, <laughs> possibly. And have the, you have the snorkel. Our kids are like, <laughs> I, our middle guy especially, like he just, he's like a water dog. Like he, he just is, loves oh, to be wet got, and dirty. And his knife is so bad right oh, now. Oh, it's, it's he everywhere. He looks like the Joker. It's on his face. He's got this one that comes out of his. It's actually on this side. It's on. It's on his left side, right? Uh, no, it's well, on, I don't it's know. On it's side. on his face. Well, it depends on what you're referring to as his left side. For sure. For sure. His yeah. left side, yes. Uh, and it comes out. It's, it's like, like a line, line of it that comes out. Thick. It looks straight like the Joker because yeah. it's like swollen and red, and it looks super crazy. And then it's all over his body. Poor kid. Yeah. I gave him a Benadryl at bedtime tonight, so yeah. Hopefully he'll sleep. Uh, so and, well. and that's very. Uh, if you asked us, like, hey, one of your kids has poison ivy, like we'd immediately be like, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> Although he's, he's the most observant, but he's he learned. We he we is. sat down with him and showed him this Laser is what poison three, ivy looks like. Remember this. Yeah. Don't do this again. Yeah. But yeah, he's kind of like that. Um, what did that at your Oh yeah, fish tank. Okay. Um, amazing. Bra ta Thanks. Taylor, uh, Susan. I got a haircut. He gave did. You a haircut. Check Best it out. haircut of his life. Oh Check gosh, it no. Oh. It's a little. I'm not. I'm not a professional. You know. Oh. I did my best. This looks, is our pretty COVID nineteen. Yeah, I've, I've been, stuck I've at been home doing her a favor because here. I've got less of it for her to cut these days. <laughs> Thank you so much, but, sir. Uh, yeah, she did a she did she did a bang up job. Yeah, we did that outside what, yesterday. I know. It was a little nerve wracking for me. I know. Um, did a, I didn't want to mess job, it up, you know. But and then of course I had cut one of our kids' hair the day before, kind of in the half dark because it was getting dark out there and it looks oh, crazy. Oh, he's got super fine hair. So oh, it was, like it, if there's a line, you see it, it you know. But whatever, y'all are not interested in that. Great. That's okay. Um, <laughs> oh, dad, dad, it yourself just sent us a picture of the tank on IG. Cool. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. Um, uh, you got Dale's. You got it, my brother. Oh, Dale said, "Yeah, are you reading that." Three tops that I would uh, see on Instagram. And oh, well, thank you, out. Dale. Dale's been coming on strong yeah, tonight. Out. All the hot, all the hot tips that, yeah, and man. then the compliments. Dale's crushing it. Come on over, Dale, Dale every single wait, time. What's, what's your, uh, what's your, what's your story? IG, yeah. Dale? What's your story? <laughs> Tell us your story. <laughs> Where'd you get started? No, I, I mean, I don't know. How did, how did you get here? <laughs> uh, <laughs> he uh, said, I think the way that you've been calling it out works for you guys, but it's also because of how you've grown your base. That's cool. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, I, yeah. Big Willie. I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm totally on for that. And we're. Yeah. And I don't want to. Um, I do. Oh yeah. I, yeah. It's a good idea. What I do want is I want this to be um, just this this live. Like I want it to be yeah. a more um, not you know a more intimate more you know I don't want it to just be like the fleeting people right. coming in. I want to be people that are going to be week after week. Right. And that, you know, like. It's like we get to know people. Yeah. Like, yeah. we know about, you know, Blaine's doing his deck and be like, the oh, post. Yeah, you got it yourself. Do you like, how's the fish tank going? Right. Of course, for we got, sure. You know, T Hub loves himself some walnut. And uh, he does. Everybody out there, Rick yep. and Beth. Um, so and we Teresa. We love having you guys. Back. Teresa. Yep. Every, all you guys. Everybody. So we didn't all of you. If we didn't say your name, we still love you. Yes. Uh, but um, that, and, I, and that's what we are looking for and just kind of yeah. make, you know, and, but to be able to, to grow that, because I know there are a lot more people that are engaged and they just don't know about it or they're not, um, you know, they just don't like YouTube or they never use YouTube chat. And so they're, you know, just haven't found their way over yet. And so we want to sidle those people. Yeah, well. absolutely. Chris says his wife gave permission for a mohawk. 
Ooh. That's big. I uh, yeah. That's, Chris, we had well yeah. I would like to see pictures of that as well. Too, yes, he wanted a mohawk. Know. He didn't tell me until halfway through his haircut though, so he didn't get a mohawk. Yes, yeah. that's kind of too late in the game for that one. Yep. Um, Michael Anthony wants to know after joining and then gluing boards together, how do you prevent them from bowing with clamps? Mine don't seem to stay flat. Thanks for all the tips you have given. Yeah, Michael, that's a that's a. Um, you do both sides, right? You, you can do both sides. I, I do both sides. That is one, there's lots of different ways right. to address it. I would suggest you to go check out the video that Mark made, the Wood Whisperer. He did that a couple months ago now. Uh, one of the ways is to have clamps on the bottom and clamps on the top. Uh, you know, another way is to alternate the way that the grain flows. So, you know, smiley face, frowny face, smiley face, frowny face, if you're looking at the end grain. Um, and there's a lot of other ways, calls and all kinds of different things that you can do in techniques, but Mark covers all of them in that video. Go check him out. Uh, and, and big, we, we haven't shouted Mark out. I mean, we always talk about Mark, but oh, yeah. Mark and Nicole, love Mark. Um, <laughs> you know, like, what we're doing and right Nicole. now is yeah. a direct, um, you know, direct oh. copy of what they're doing because we love what they're doing and we wanted to try to do the same thing. And, and you know, we love the kind of husband wife duo that they have going on. Mm -hmm. And so we're like, that looks super fun. Let's, let's do that. Let's try that. Yeah. So Big Willie's Garage says what he was saying was per live. And I think we can do super chats at 1000 subs to the channel. Oh, yeah. does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Um, okay. Um, Blaine is saying good night. Peace out. Good night. <laughs> JC. That's what My I was worried about. My wife tried to cut my hair. It didn't work out. So yeah, now I'm completely, completely bald. bald. Yeah, I, you know, yeah, I that's what you're worried about. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Kate thankfully it didn't come to that. Things. How to cut a man? Oh, oh! Kate, is that Kate Small Things? Is that the one that we looked at? Kate oh, Small yeah. Things on IG. I don't know. I need all the help I can get. <laughs> don't pry. Don't pry me. You don't know me. Um, whatever. We know you like walnut. Um, and yeah. then Buckeye. Do but Buckeye. We what did, is we, this? Who was the? And Susan did watch a, a video. I from did. A I've watched I, so I many videos of people cutting hair. I know how to do it in theory. I get she's it. She's very timid. It's like she I want to mess up. like I get, I get the clipper part. It's fine. It's the up top with it. the scissors part. Like I lose track of where I am because like, how do you really know if you've cut this section or not? Ugh. Yeah. So anyway, it stresses me out a little bit, yeah. hey, but whatever, hey Jack, it's just hair. Um, hit me up on, uh, on DM if you have any questions about Patreon, but basically I'll give a quick overview of the Patreon. The way the Patreon works yep. is uh, the lowest level is two bucks, the tier, and that's per month. And then that goes up from there. So two, five, 10, 25, 50. Uh, at 10 is where you start getting plans mm -hmm. and our plans are our lowest plans are typically uh, nine bucks so basically you're just getting a free monthly plan plus all the benefits of uh, the extra content as well as your questions read here and addressed at the beginning uh, and then the higher tiers get more plans more stuff and then all the way up to like credits in the videos <laughs> and then onboarding calls with me and all kinds of stuff like that so you can see them all there uh, but the tiers also build so if you join at $10, you also get the benefits of the five and the two. If you have any other questions, feel free to DM me over on Instagram and, and I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. But it, you know, it's just an option here. Again, you know, we're, we're gonna continue to answer, like you do not have to be a patron to get your, your questions answered. So no pressure. It's just a way to get more content, more engaged, and obviously, you know, to say, hey, like I wanna yeah. be part of it's the kind channel. Of it's kind of yeah. like the inner circle of FDBT. Right. Um, and that's kind of where yeah, we're at. We're, yeah, that's something we're All really right. interested we in doing. All right, we are at 10.04, so we're going to keep this at an hour. Oh, hang on. Oh. Character Red says, I think the move to the main channel would be better for numbers and revenue. You could mention it in the videos and use it as weekly live convo on lessons learned, et cetera, with people following Yeah, along. and that's, it, honestly, yeah. it's, it's not about it's the dilemma. revenue. It's not about the super chat or the revenue mm -mm. particular for that. So, like, we're, you know, we're not trying to drum up that. What we want to do is, so, like, you know, we have over 800,000 followers on YouTube. We have over 500,000 followers on Instagram. There's 25 of you here right now, <laughs> right? So uh, we, we want as many people who want to be in, involved to be involved. And, and if that is 25 out of those numbers put together, like, you know, it kind of makes me sad, but I feel like there's more and it's more about awareness and also uh, the, because when you're out here and getting the notifications out. so. It's like, oh, I don't want to subscribe to another channel. Some people just want to digest that where they're already digesting the other content instead of having to sub to another channel, which I get. So that, that's where it's at, is that just trying to reach out to those people because I, I feel like, yeah, we should easily be able to get 100 people on here 
of people that are just engaged as you guys are and that want to have really awesome conversations and have great questions and great input. And also, that's the thing too, is like I, what I love about YouTube specifically is seeing the conversation between you guys and seeing like right. people talking and Helping each other out. And being then like, yo, there Central was a America question early. is actually part of North America. Now we know. Like now. Yeah, and like people kind of, sometimes people are jumping in and answering questions before we can even really get to yeah. them and like, like giving great tips. Right. Like and so lots, lots, lots of great tips tonight, you know? We want more of Right, we want a community guys, more and, people, and that's not, what we're going for. Right. We're not looking for more money. We want no. to have more community and yeah. have that to still be a small group. You know, I'm not looking to have 10,000 people in a live. No, that'd be crazy. Um, that'd be insane. Uh, <laughs> I think but, I would be like, whoa, the whole time yeah, on the computer. A couple hundred, a few hundred, I think yeah, would be Yeah, that'd awesome. be all right. Yeah. I, I say that now. We'll see how that would turn out. I know. I'm pretty comfortable where we are right now. But I know. Yeah. So I think we are going to try it on the main channel just to see. But I, and I do appreciate your feedback. So it's nice to see that there is some on one totally. side and some on the other. Uh, at a bare minimum, we're going to start announcing it and talking about it, and then we'll, we'll see how it goes. Uh, and either way, I hope you guys will join us wherever we're at, and, and I think you guys will. Uh, so I really appreciate you guys being here. Uh, happy Mother's Day again to all the moms out there. And, yep. uh, happy Mother's happy Day. Happy Mother's Day to my sweet pea here. And uh, yeah. Well, thank you. You, you are welcome. <laughs> all right, guys, look for the video, the, the desk video. Um, honestly, because uh, I'm doing the editing. So I'm gonna bust my tail tomorrow. I would love yeah. to have it out Tuesday afternoon. Uh, I'm gonna say Tuesday or a Wednesday right. should be should be the timing on that. So stay tuned it's on that. It's worth if, the wait. It's if you really are part beautiful. of the Builders Club and part of the plans, we will have plans. Those will probably be delayed. Excuse me, a little bit because mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to send those out. So those will probably be uh, the end of next week into early the following <laughs> week. So I uh, hope you guys have a great week, and we'll catch you on next week's live. All right. We will. See All you guys. Right. Get Good out night. There, build something awesome. Yep. Are we done? We are done.